What is going on, guys? Hey, it is Anthony, and you are checking out Breakout Daily, the YouTube channel. So I'm going to give a quick highlight of who I am and what we've got going on. This is the first official video for the Breakout Daily YouTube channel. So thank you for those that are supporting, checking it out, seeing what's going on. So again, my name is Anthony. I uh, actually have several YouTube channels. This one is my most recent pet project and one of the most exciting. <clears throat> um, so I've been in the YouTube space for many years. I've got several different channels. You're more than welcome to check those out. We're gonna start an experiment, which was my introduction to YouTube and videography and audio and, and all of those things. I then kind of branched out. I was doing a bunch of hobby stuff and then I branched out and started the Renstyle Garage where I fo hyper focused on automotive and I may revisit that. We'll get to that at a different episode. And then 2020 hit and I started to get back into comics. Actually, yeah, 2020 hit, started to get back into comics started to get back into collecting baseball cards and currency and a lot of different things. I also am a co-host of a podcast called Culture Jacked. It's available everywhere. All you have to do is just Google Culture Jack. Check it out. We cover new movies. We cover a lot of comic book genre mini series and a ton of different things so that's available too i'll put links to all this stuff down below if it interests you and as i've gotten back into this collecting hobby i like i said i got into some currency for a hot minute there it's locked up and and put away i got into baseball cards and slowed that roll down i'm going to try to sell off a bunch of baseball cards magic cards uh and what have you started to get into it pretty deep and while getting back into comics and I shifted exclusively to comics most recently and I still have a bunch of stuff to get rid of a bunch of stuff to talk about but I have been wheeling and dealing stuff for the bulk of my life I've been collecting stuff on and off throughout the bulk of my life most recently like I said I've transitioned back into comics and I'm having an incredible time doing it I'm having an incredible time working with people talking about them, collecting stuff, so forth and so on. So what the Breakout Daily is, you can check us out on TikTok. You can check us out on Instagram. Um, I'll put links to those down below as well. What it is to me and, and the thought behind this pet project is I work from home because of COVID-19 and I have since the middle of 2020. And my full-time occupation can require me to work very long days. Um, I've had situations that lasted six days a week, seven days a week, and then back at it Monday. And as I started to go through that, these small opportunities, and, I, and I've got my family and I've got that, and those are, those are great times and those are a different situation. But I found myself through this transition, through COVID, through working from home through long hours at my real job um, while I was transitioning my YouTube stuff and while I was transitioning even even in the podcast I found myself doing certain things like getting some comics or bidding on some comics via auction buying auctions of baseball cards uh, flying the drone etc etc right and I found myself as I broke out daily to do these things, and that, that's the verbiage that came to mind. There was, even on a shitty day, there was that moment um, while, while taking my break or, or what, what have you. Maybe I got off early or maybe I got off. Maybe I did it at five o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning. I broke out of the day and enjoyed the hobby. And as I've transitioned and as I've gotten more and more involved with comic books and with uh, artists, and I'm going to show you some cool stuff here in a minute. I'll get through the story so you can stop listening to me yammer yammer on about this. Um, I found out 
in myself on how important it is to break out daily, break out of the mundane tasks in life that you may or may not live by doing simple things. And while yes, I do play video games and we'll probably talk about that at some point here on the Breakout Daily, I found myself in this position probably six months ago, seven months ago to where it was like the comic, to me, the comic community is such a different community. It's a caring community. It's a trading community. It's a bartering community. And the artists are incredible. The writers, the intricacy between variants of covers, the intricacy from story to story, what's getting big, what isn't getting big, what's staying big. And with following that, with being subscribed to Key Collector, with learning about coverprice.com, with learning about GPA, with following guys on YouTube, with following uh, trends and things from my local comic shop, with going to a different comic shop, with it has uh, kind of thrown gasoline onto the fire. And then I started the Breakout Daily TikTok, and uh, I talked to several people. They were they were interested, and I'm still trying to grow that thing. And I had a couple of guys say, hey, I saw you did a YouTube channel, but you don't got any content yet. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I just don't know if I want to do the YouTube thing. It, when I did it before and, and I still make AdSense from it and I was putting all I had into it, it became a mundane task and it became very costly. When I was doing automotive, my biggest hurdle, and I did get sponsored by some big sponsors. Um, but after that was said and done, it's like, well, what do I do next? I don't want to go buy another car. I don't want to go buy another truck. I don't want to trade in. I don't want to compound these things. So here I am. And what we're going to do here on this show, for those that made it this long through the video, is uh, pretty simple. I intend on having a fun time every time I get on the mic. I'm going to be talking about comic books. I've got a pretty decent collection, graded and raw. I've amassed probably more than I want to admit uh, as far as my collection goes. I've got some cool key comics we're going to be diving into. I've got some not so cool key comics. I've got some art from some artists. I pick up comics almost every week. I've got pull boxes. I also, like I said, we'll be talking a little bit about the collecting, uh, the collecting genre as a whole, stuff I've gotten burned on, stuff I've gotten good deals on. We'll also dive into some of my other hobbies. Uh, we might do an episode on drones. We might do an episode of me talking about uh, my baseball card collection or football card collection, or maybe I'll pull out the Marvel cards that I have that I may sell. So if you're interested in some Marvel cards, comment down below, get a hold of me. So that's that's the idea. And I just wanted to get that out there. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to start with trying to do at least one video a week, whether it's doing new comic book Wednesdays, dropping what I picked up and talking about it, or... Uh, if I do a pop shop or if I do an auction or what have you, but I do have a ton of stories that I get to tell fun. Um, some I've lost my ass on some I haven't. So with that being said, to properly kind of bring in the breakout daily for the first YouTube channel, I am going to show you what I picked up at the shop today and show you a cool piece of art that I picked up during the Valley mini con. It's probably not going to focus um, during our first Valley mini con. And uh, yeah, it's uh, original art by an incredible artist. And yeah, let's just go from there. So without further ado, let's see what I got in the bag. Here's the bag. Picked it up from my local LCS. My local LCS, by the way, is Agus Comics in Wasilla, Alaska. Staff there's awesome. Always willing to help. I have questions. I try to I, I try to uh, get all the details, try to figure things out. And uh, I was just in there today, had a ton of questions for the for for the main man there. And uh, the guy answered a bunch of my dumbass questions because I was having some controversial things happening with my pull box, which can't happen. Um, and he answered the best he could. He also answered how the hell I can order some DC comics. So that'll that'll come at a different uh, conversation but in the meantime anyways it probably won't focus but again check these guys out it's agus comics these guys do a lot of content um i'm gonna try to get it to focus aegis comics of alaska that's where i'm coming from that's what we got let's dive into some books so it is wednesday june or 
almost said it wrong, June 30th. And uh, let's take a look at uh, what I got here. And I also, like I said before, feature some stuff on Instagram, break period out daily because someone took the breakout daily, unrelated. And then on TikTok, it's breakout daily. YouTube, it's breakout daily. Let's see what I got. Oh, and the podcast, me and my co-host, Culture Jacked, the podcast. Check it out everywhere. I got two copies of this book because I was about to leave the store and I was bullshitting with uh, Kevin at Aegis. And uh, I was like, dude, do you have any other variants of Spawn Universe? It just dropped. I think I do. Bam. So I had to pick up two. One of my favorite characters. And full disclosure, I don't know, 15 years ago, when I was in my 15, 16, 17 years ago, when I was in my early 20s, I started to, uh, I picked up some collections of comics, not huge collections, but Spawn has always been near and dear to my heart because of the character and because of the status and what he does. And so I had to get Spawn Universe. I had to get the Gunslinger cover. I mean, like, look at this thing. Epic, epic cover. And I got to support Todd McFarlane, Image Comics. Those guys, huge, huge fan of his work and what he's done for the comic industry. In fact, on Culture Jack, the podcast, I dedicated a whole episode discussing Todd McFarlane and how he changed the comic world forever. Anyways, super cool. Excited to uh, have these. I just bagged them real quick and uh, those will go into my collection. I also picked this up. Now, I'm not 100% sure what the hell this comic is about, but I'm going to tell you why I picked it up. Dynamite Lives. If you are a kid or an adult, grown man or woman, and you see what looks to be ash, which is Army of Darkness on the cover of a comic, you're buying the damn thing. And that's exactly what I did. So I got that. There's another variant of Spawn Universe. Big old thick boy. That'd be the A cover. Super cool cover. Um, And then I have Wolverine 13 variant i do i wish i would have got the virgin cover that thing's popping right now nonetheless it's still a cool cover dropping that uh the three claw cover the uh this is a variant i can't remember the artist's name this one was uh, the darling i actually learned about this comic um from three men in the basement was interviewing and i'm gonna mess this up the lady from Bird City Comics, and she brought this up and kind of talked about Darling, and so it piqued my interest. If I recall correctly, it is based off of the brother of one of the writers, his addiction diary, and some of his crazy stories, and uh, it's been turned into a comic, and I'm sure dramatized for comic publication. Wolverine 13, the other cover, We've got the Gala, Hellfire Gala cover, which has, of course, Wolverine and everybody's favorite, Deadpool. And then the last book, and I kind of fucked up when I bought this, to tell you the truth, because I wasn't paying attention. That's Marvel Voices Pride. Pride comics are really big right now, celebrating the LGBTQ, and I'm sure i just missed a couple of acronyms there nonetheless huge huge it's great to see it it's great to see the support it's great to see dc do it first and the marvel's jumping right behind anyways i fucked up because the edge of the comic here little little ugly anyways that's my collection that just uh grew because of comic book wednesday i have not read any of these comics because i literally made the decision It's time to do a YouTube video. Last thing I want to show you guys real quick, and then we'll wrap this video up, is while I was at that Minicon, which, uh, again, check out Aegis Comics. We had a ton of really good artists there. Uh, uh, Artist uh, Artist Alliance was there, which brought Sean Anderson, his art right there. We'll, We'll talk about that in another episode. We got Ben Harvey. Those are two prints of Ben Harvey's work signed by him incredible artist check him out at Ben Harvey so two prints there Ben Harvey one of Sean Anderson and then I uh, had the luxury bullshit with Sean or uh, Ben Harvey for a few minutes and looking through his catalog that he had for sale which was a lot of it was prints and then a lot was uh, some some original art and one caught my eye because I have a little boy 
uh, who just turned four, and I'm like, what would? How cool does this get, right? And, and this is kind of kind of nerdy, so just bear with me. An original piece. See if I can get it. I know it's the reflection. I'll, again, I'll go back through all this stuff. This is an original sketch drawing uh, by Ben Harvey. I framed it. And while I was at that mini con, again in Wasilla, Alaska, brought to you by the fine folks at Ages Comics and Arctic Comic Con of Alaska, I also found a Buzz Boy, number one, which is what that hero is. I think this was like a buck or 50 cents. So that's going to go in my little boy's bedroom here whenever I decide to put it up. And uh, yeah, super cool stuff. Anyways, I've got a ton of cool things I'm going to be talking to you guys about here on the Breakout Daily. We're going to revisit the Art of Comic Con, talking about some of the key books I just recently picked up from there. And we will be diving into several and many, many other books here shortly. I also feature them, like I said, in the beginning of the video, middle of the video. I'm going to say it one last time. Check us out on Instagram at break period out daily, TikTok breakout daily. And of course, check out the, the uh, culture jacked podcast. I'm a co-host on, and we are going to start putting together some cool ass videos here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for your support. And we will catch up with you in the next episode.